He is the third of the Kim dynasty, a man not yet 30, in command of a nuclear arsenal, ballistic missiles, and the world's fourth largest army. But Kim Jong-un is in many ways an enigma, and a dangerous one at that. The youngest son of Kim Jong-il, he had a privileged upbringing, while millions of North Koreans starved, attending an elite boarding school in Switzerland under a false name. A Brazilian classmate remembers him as a shy teenager. He was very quiet. He didn't speak with a anyone. He was uh, competitive uh, at the sports. It's, uh, for him, uh, he, he didn't like to lose. He liked basketball and football and video games. His father had served a long apprenticeship before taking over the hermit kingdom. But Kim Jong-un was catapulted into the leadership, suddenly becoming a general in his mid-20s without serving a day in the military. When his father died in December of 2011, Kim Jong-un became supreme leader and the state propaganda machine went into overdrive. They've been trying to establish this uh, myth regarding his expertise. He speaks eight languages. He's a military genius and, and uh, technical genius. And a leader with the complete backing of the military. In his first public remarks as leader, he spoke of the heartbreak of a divided Korea. But there was also a warning. Our military has become a powerful military, able to handle any kind of modern warfare with complete uh, offensive and defensive capabilities. The foreign powers are not the only ones with monopoly on military supremacy. But he also promised no more famine. It is our party's firmest resolve not to let our citizens go hungry again. As he has consolidated his rule, Kim has tried to promote his youthful side, attending a concert with Disney characters and a youth festival, watching basketball with Dennis Rodman. Kim Jong-un has also married. His young, attractive wife was announced by state media as comrade Ri Sol-ju. But he has also reinforced North Korea's military first policy. <laughs> With the successful launch of a ballistic missile in December and another underground nuclear test in February.